everyone. This is Elise. Um, like I promised, episode four tonight, 31 days of help in your marriage, episode four. And tonight we're going to talk about emotions. How many of us act on emotions, our gestures, our words, all on emotions? Sometimes we don't even mean to say those things, but because of emotions, we do. So I'm going to get right to our lesson, emotions. And I hope and pray that this can help your marriage. I hope and pray that you can take the scriptures and apply them to your life. These scriptures have power. These scriptures are healing. All we have to do is meditate on them. Soak them in, just like you sopping biscuits, homemade insert. Sop the word of God into your situation. And you get a sweet sensation out of it. So I pray that as I go before you guys that you utilize this as well as it's a lesson to me. I may have experienced it. I may have went through and going through. I may even be preparing myself myself for something ahead. And I just thank God for the opportunity. So our scripture tonight is 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 7. And it says, love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not anger. It keeps no record of any wrongdoing. Love does not delight in evil things, but it rejoices in all truth. It always protects, it always trusts. It always hopes, always preserves. That's the word of the Lord. That is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. And then there's another scripture. The famous 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now these three remain faith. Hope and love. Again, faith, hope, and love. They shall always remain. They should always remain. But the greatest of these, the greatest, the greatest of these three is love. Love is eternal. Love is the greatest attribute. Anyone could have, could display love. When you think of love, a smile should just light up across your face. I should see a smile in your eyes, a smile in your heart, a smile in your gestures. So when you have love, you share eternity. Nothing can conquer love. Love conquers all. So when you're upset, when someone has teed you off, your spouse, your fiance, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, because this message is for you singles, you should not have a boyfriend or girlfriend if you have no intentions on one day having that person as your spouse. You should be seeking God to know that you're prepping and preparing for a relationship for a lifetime. So I'm going to begin with this thing called emotions. How many of us get upset and we just have an outburst, be it physical, mentally, but we're working off of, em- off of me- emotions. How many spouses have had it out with their spouse? Your fiance, you've had it out, had an argument. Um, you want to call it off. You want to get a divorce. You want to leave. 
you say some things about that person. You say some things about their family. If it's a blended family, you say some things about the children. None of these things are right and none of these things are God, are of God. When we do things, and I'm sure we all have gotten on God's nerve, but the love, the love that he has for us, guys, it's just so wonderful just to know that he loves us regardless of our faults. He doesn't work with emotion. He just scoops us up and wants us to dust ourselves off. He even helps dust us off. So why will we have altercations with our other half or our future spouses? Do we immediately want out? We immediately give up. We immediately say things, curse words, mean things, demeaning things. Why do we do that? Because we're working with emotions. I'm here to tell you tonight that, yes, it's easy to say, let's work with love. But I believe, and I know from my own experience, that if you go one day at a time, showing love to your spouse, to your fiance, just showing them that, Regardless of flaws, and I mean within reason. Now, if someone's abusing you, beating you down, and just can't stop their habits, you know, you don't have to work with emotions, but you don't have to be anyone's fool or punching bag. What I'm saying is when things happen, work out of love, not out of emotions. Sometimes you have to be quiet, guys. Sometimes I myself have to just shut up. Shh. And, and wait until the atmosphere is clear. You know, in the Bible, the Bible talks about love. The Bible's primary conversation is love. Love is a commitment. That regardless, no matter what, I love you. That even means that when someone steals out your purse, when you catch your spouse cheating, catch your spouse in a lie, anything, love conquers all. And you forgive. And you move on. Because that's what God does for us, guys. He loves us. And I will be the first to admit, so many things that I have done, God loves me regardless. I just get up and I keep striving daily to just be more like Jesus. So in our marriages, in our relationships, we have to strive daily to just love regardless and know that this too shall pass. And when you work out of love, that other person will see that. And that's how things change because you're changing. You're learning not to just have an outburst, not to hit a tantrum. You're learning to be out of, out of love. Pray for that person. Pray for your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your fiance. Pray. The primary is a commitment. So you have a commitment. And in that commitment, there's love. God prefers commitment and obedience rather than emotions. So let's take that emotions tonight. Go to our washrooms and flush them. Let's take the emotions, bag them up in the trash and sit it out on your driveways for the garbage man to take in the morning. We're not working with emotions. We're working out of love because that's what God does for us. He's working out of love with us. He loves us so much that he puts up with us daily, day in, day out. We say things that are out of his realm. 
We say things we shouldn't say. We do things we shouldn't do. And God still loves us. That's wonderful, guys. Oh, well, people say, if my husband, if my wife ever did this, I would just leave. I mean, all circumstances. I would just leave their behinds behind. Because it would make me change on them. This is what I hear people saying. I couldn't go through it. This is what they say. You're good. No. I'm so sold up for the Lord. And he loves me beyond my faults. So why can't I love the next person? My spouse. And just pray for his faults. Pray together. Pray for her faults. Pray together. Single couples, the best thing you have right now is that you should seek God together. Pray together. Practice this love thing. Come out of them emotions. I'm telling you, love is a keeper. Love conquers all. So, here's the thing. We made some wedding vows. We made a commitment. We're in a covenant covenant with God and your spouse. Single people, you want to be this way because you're engaged. So, that means that you can't just up and run out of your um, commitment, covenant with God and your spouse. You said for better or for worse. So, emotions was not in those vows. So you stay and you pray. Yeah, stay and pray. And because of all the love, you'll work it out. Nothing's easy. If it's so easy to work for, you don't need it. I love a challenge. Challenges are so good. It makes whatever that thing is better and better and better. So I'm going to leave you with this, you guys. Let's practice love and not work with emotions, which is feelings. Love is giving the very best effort you have. So that means give all of you. That's what love is. On the behalf of another, regardless of their response, just show love. Even if your spouse wants to be mad at you for a day or two or three. You show love. Your fiance is upset with you. Continue to show love. Because God continues to show love to us. Don't he? He does for me. So I know he do for you. Even when it's thrown back in your face. Well. Jesus did this with us. Look at how Jesus was treated. And he just showed love. He didn't work with emotions. He didn't say, God, get me out of here. I can't deal with these people. They're mistreating me. They're spitting on me. I can't do this. He went through showing love. When they threw stones and talked about him, he didn't get in altercations. And the reason I'm saying this is because when you enter into covenant in a marriage, The spouse is told, your husband is told to love you like Jesus does the church. So, in that aspect, Jesus wasn't fighting people in the church when they were doing wrong things. When he was out praying and preaching, he was not working with emotions. He always showed love. And that's what you should do. Always show love. No emotions. It's hard. But with God, we can do all things day by day. Love, love, love. Not emotions. Love. Have a good night. God bless you guys.